Nicholas Backstrom, now here, UFC Berlin. You know, you're facing a, a very tough guy in Noah Delop, but I'd say stylistically, you're quite similar. You know, would you agree with that? Uh, well, he's short and I'm tall. Uh, he's good in the ground, I'm good on the ground. You know, there's a little bit stylistically um, different between his uh, stand-up game and my stand-up game. Uh, I would like to fight the way he does because I'm, I'm um, or I would fight it in a, another way if I was short. Uh, I would. Um, I'm a big fan of like Wendell Silva and uh, Tyson and stuff like this. And my first fights, I I fought like that. Uh, I didn't realize that you know. Um, my body type is not suited for that, so so I had to uh, learn uh, how to how to change that and use my reach and stuff like that. But uh, secretly, I'm a brawler in in my heart. So uh, yeah, it's a little bit different there. Uh, what I use, uh, I use stuff that is good for for tall, lanky fighters, and he. He's a more, you know, and uh, in and a grapple and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, it's a little bit different there, but let's see. You, you burst on the scene with that submission of Tom Ninimaki. You know, you, you were like, I'm here to stay. And then you, you had the tough fight against Wilkinson. Is it about here, you know, bouncing back from, you know, that defeat and kind of proving, you know, that was a bit of a blip, you know, that's not really the kind of fight I am? Uh, of course, of course, uh, that was uh, a terrible experience for me. I, I still think that I, that I was the better fighter, but uh, I, uh, I just uh, basically, um, uh, I don't know how to say it without it cursing. I basically fucked up. Uh, I, um, I didn't uh, uh, respect his ability to to hurt me, and uh, and I had to pay for that. Uh, he, he Wilkinson is a good fighter. He fights in the UFC. He's one of the best in the world. So. And you have to respect everybody that steps in uh, to the cage, because uh, they have the ability to, to to hurt you with one punch. And uh, yeah, I, I had to learn that the hard way. You kind of mentioned earlier, you know, you're a brawler. In that fight, you kind of went in there to brawl. Is it now about fighting smarter than that and kind of thinking, you know, I've got to be more technical? Well, well of course you got to learn from your mistakes. I uh, I didn't uh, keep my distance. I didn't. Uh, do, um, I wasn't focused. I just uh, wanted to stress the the finish. I, w I just wanted to finish him, get the bonus, and and uh, go uh, to the after party, you know. And uh, yeah, uh, oh, I will always be a, a fighter that pushes the tempo. I will always be that. But but you can do that in smart ways and in stupid ways. And I did it in a stupid way the last fight. Do you think it's now about learning patience in, in the octagon? Well, uh, for, uh, maybe a little bit, uh, but still I am who I am, so I, I will uh, always, you know, if I see an opening, I will go after that. But if I clearly not see an opening, maybe I won't, uh, you know, front kick a guy with my hands down like this and just walk in, because that's what I did. It's about being not stupid. All-star gyms where, where you train out of. What kind of element do you think that adds to your game, training with you know, so many you know, well-renowned guys? Well, of course, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, very cool for me because uh, I've been a huge uh, you know, MMA fan from the age of like 10. Uh, I've watched everything. Uh, so it's pretty cool for me to like, uh, uh, get here. Uh, and, uh, and see uh, all the guys in the gym and all that. It's like uh, small things when uh, I'm sitting eating with uh, Alex at the uh, All Star Cafe, and uh, a guy comes up and like shakes. He's shaking his hand. It's like, can I take a picture like this? That is uh, like, oh, you gotta appreciate, you know, uh, what you have. What does Nicholas Backstrom have to do on Saturday night to kind of erase that last loss and show, you know, you're here to stay in the UFC? Come in there uh, and just. Uh, I have a very hard time talking English without cursing, uh, so I'm. Uh, I 
I want to say something, but I have to. Like, so sorry about that. But uh, no, I, I have to go in there and like uh, be focused and, uh, and do what what everybody at the gym knows that I can do. Uh, everybody knows my level. I know my level. Uh, the guys that train with me uh, know my level. So. Um, you know, it should it shouldn't be any problems. Uh, it's just uh, don't keep the, the feet on the ground and uh, not get over overconfident. Nicholas, thank you very much. Thank you.